Oh man, my house is in a really fun stage of construction. Hardwood floors start today, that's right. These floors are about to get some gorgeous hardwood started. I got a fun video, we're gonna talk about all the parts and pieces, lots of nerdy stuff, and I'm gonna show you a gorgeous floor. Today's video is sponsored by Delta Millworks. Let's get going. All right, so we're starting upstairs on the second floor of my house. We're using a really cool product, but you know what? Hardwood floor is really important to get the prep right. Now there's two types of prep. You're sometimes going for a level, you're sometimes going for flat. In my case, I'm not super worried about being level. This is new construction. Uh, if I'm a hair off of level, no big deal. But what I do want is a flat floor. And so Kristen Hardwood Floors, my local contractor that's installing these Delta Millworks floors, which by the way are available nationwide, has done an amazing job of prep. So let's start in my daughter's bedroom and I'll show you what they've done over here. So first off, uh, I did not cover my Advantech prior to um, sheetrock upstairs, which meant that I had a fair amount of prep that needed to be done up here. Now they used a buffer with a very uh, thick, heavy grit sanding pad. I think it was a 30 grit. Check this out, y'all. This is a 26 grit pad that the Kristen guys put in their buffer, Wilson and his boys. Uh, they did a, a, a quick buff of my floor. I did not cover these floors ahead of time. So they buffed them all down with this 26 grit. Look how nice that looks. And that's basically what you're left with right here, which is uh, you're going to see that they got uh, some of the top grain off, but there's still a little bit of sheetrock dust down into the corners. They also did a really good job of double checking there weren't any high nails because they found a couple places where my seams needed just a little bit of sanding. That's not from swell necessarily, because um, you're only going to notice like two or three spots like that. But we did use a... Um, hand planer, pardon me, an electric planer in a few spots to do that. And we ran a giant level on the floor to make sure that it was uh, as flat as possible. Now I did have a little bit uh, of, a, of a kind of a de depression in here. So we ran some floor leveler uh, to fill that. And this has dried super fast. So same to install. I think that's the only spot that we needed to. We're walking down the hallway now uh, to my boy's bedroom. Boys' bedroom, we did a little bit of prep as well. This room turned out great, so we didn't have any problems here. So, hardwoods are prepped. Let's get into it, and we'll uh, we'll pick up the video as we get started. Wilson and his crew from Chris Nick doing a great job over here. This is my first run of boards. Look how pretty those are. Love it, Wilson. So we're using uh, glue on this, and they've nailed this starter strip. This is the long hallway. It goes down um, uh, basically a continuous board from the top of the stairs. They run a chalk line to run that glue so they don't go too far and get it everywhere. And then watch Wilson beat this thing in place. He's done this before. He's got a nice clean rubber mount. He, I saw those guys cleaning off their mounts at the beginning of the day, make sure they're nice and clean. Here's Emma running the next run right here. They're staggering the seams. Make sure those seams, those seams are nice and staggered. First room is done. This looks so nice. Now that we're done, the first thing we're gonna do is cover this immediately. Uh, you can see some dust marks from our drywall coat feet but uh, we're gonna cover this thing up with some ram board. And you're noticing that uh, we didn't quite run it tight to the floor. Well, this is a little tight here in this direction, but in this width direction, we've run it um, with at least a half an inch or so down the wall to leave some expansion and contraction room. That's best practice. Even though this is an incredibly stable floor, we wanna make sure that we've got some, some room for expansion and contraction. So. Ready for some ramp board, looking good. All right, day two of my install. Wilson's prep in the entire floor is almost done. And below uh, this is a concrete slab. And then if you saw my videos, I put an inch and a half of halo insulation down. And then there's two layers of three quarter plywood. So this Advantech 
which you see running this way, has another layer of Advantech running horizontally, and it's glued and screwed to each other. You can see I've got uh, screw marks here, and then I used Advantech glue uh, underneath that. So I've got a very, very flat floor. Wilson's running a uh, 30, around a 30 grit sandpaper on here just to make sure that everything is nice and uh, nice and clean basically. So his glue has something to stick to, no dirt, no junk on there. And look how nicely it's cleaning up. I mean, it's beautiful. It's leaving a little bit of a yellow film uh, or yellow dust, I should say, that they're cleaning up. But they laid the entire second floor of the house yesterday. I suspect they'll lay the entire first floor today. All right, guys, let's take a minute and talk about these woods. Now, this is a European oak. And what's amazing about it is that, gosh, I have yet to see a board with any bigger of a knot uh, than that one right there. It's all pre-finished, which has been fantastic for my schedule. You know, the crew finished the entire second floor in one day. And if you look at the profile on the floor, check this out, very thick uh, wear layer on the top, which means I can sand this several times. And then very tight uh, plywood in the center. That's a no uh, footballs in that core, lots of plies, nice and stable. And then if you flip this floor over, which you can see at the top uh, of these bags, it's the same wood on the top uh, or pardon me, on the bottom as the top, which is gonna lead to ultimate stability on this floor. Very, very impressive product. They're gonna start at the front door and work their way back. And we measured, because uh, we're going side to side in the house, I thought that made the most sense to lay the boards. Uh, we did a really good measurement on the board because it's not quite 10 inches. It's actually like a 16th uh, or maybe somewhere between an eighth and a 16th shy of 10 inches in width. So we wanted to take that measurement from here to here. So we're gonna start actually with just shy of a full board on this side so that we'll have about the same on this side of the house. You gotta really spend your time measuring and Wilson and his crew have done an awesome job, extremely precise. All right, we're at the front door, the first bead of glue going down. Emma's done this before, this is not her first radio. <laughs> Here's our uh, My Pay Ultra Bond Eco 975. Standard urethane adhesive for hardwood flooring. Interesting, they taped these together. I'm not quite sure why I need to ask Wilson about that. All right, we're looking good at my front door. Check this out. Front door's right there. We got about half the foyer done. Emma's spreading. Wilson's nailing down. Uh, or not nailing down, he's rubber malleting down. I was thinking the other day, when I, uh, sometimes when I think hardwood floors, some of us, including me sometimes, when it comes to pre-finished, have this Bruce hardwood floors kind of uh, mentality. I'm sure Bruce has gotten a lot better, but when I installed them in the 90s, it was a production builder floor. And those floors in particular, when you had a, a gap between the floors, there was a pretty good bevel. And clients get upgraded to a micro bevel, but it was not flat. And what's amazing about this floor is that it's totally flat. Uh, the other thing that production builders love about pre-finished floors that custom guys typically uh, shied away from was, well, two things. Number one, you couldn't get the exact finish you want, and that's not true with these. I was able to totally customize with Rachel Pax, my interior designer, to get this exact color, sheen, everything. And then they were boxed up and shipped here. But the, again, these are totally flat. So when they get rubber mounted in place, there's no, there's nothing to trip. There's, there's nothing you're gonna see on this floor to uh, give it away that this is not a site finish floor. And Chris Nick's done a ton of site finish floor for, for me and I've loved them in the past. In fact, I've been a bit of a snob on, on uh, site finish floors because I love them so much. But in this case, we've got a floor that totally kills the schedule. It's awesome. 
I'm knocking this floor out. Wilson and his crew are knocking my entire house with the hardwoods, 22, 2300 square feet of hardwoods. In two days, done. No need to come back and sand and finish. So now I can come in with my benchmark uh, crystal cabinets and install them here in the foyer. I can put all my base mold down later and not have any additional shoe moldings or other uh, frilly pieces that I need to kind of cover that gap up. Again, you're gonna notice that Wilson's maintaining some gap between the wall and the, uh, and the floor to allow for a little bit of expansion. Although I think that this floor is stable as it is, it's not gonna see any expansion or contraction. All right, as we've got a long portion of the house coming up, they've run to the here, and the house is about a quarter inch out of square or so, so they ran a string line from this side all the way to the other tweak these two boards and we're gonna move just a hair from here over. That way when we get out to this wall and land at this door, we'll have a nice straight board. We've already covered the entry, we're gonna cover the rest of the floor with some ram board. But man, it is looking really good. Um, I think you guys caught what I'm doing next on trim, but just to verify, uh, I've got this shiplap going down that's gonna end right at the floor there. They just have a little bit more to finish. And then my cabinets are coming next week. All my baseboards will come after that, so. Amazing job by Chris Nick and beautiful product by Delta Mill Works. Uh, Chris Nick is local to Austin, Texas, so if you're in Austin, great hardwood company. Delta Mill Works, though, they'll sell this to you anywhere in the U.S. Great company based here in Austin, Texas, but they ship uh, nationwide, uh, really all of North America. Amazing people. So big thanks to those guys for sponsoring today's video. If you're not currently a subscriber, guys, hit that subscribe button. We've got new content here on The Build Show every Tuesday and every Friday. By the way, sign up in the description for my Friday newsletter because we actually are publishing six new videos a week over on buildshownetwork.com. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.